a villain in Venice, Jane of the Air Book One, a steampunk detective and aviatrix, and part-time spy. Available now. All profits to the NHS. Scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time talking about Doctor Who Out of Time number two, The Gates of Hell, starring, well you already know this, but basically it's the fifth Doctor and the tenth Doctor, I know. We'll start with a synopsis and we'll take it from there. Paris, 1809, the fifth Doctor takes a tour of the catacombs and meets a sassy time agent doing the same. Paris, 1944. The Tenth Doctor misses his target and lands in occupied France and hides from the Nazis in the catacombs. A collision of two Doctors' timelines triggers a temporal catastrophe granting the Cybermen dominion over the Earth. The Doctor must travel back in time to find the source of the Cyber Invasion and close the gates of Hell. Now, we all like multi-Doctor stories. We shouldn't, right? We really shouldn't. And you don't often get multi-Doctor stories where it's the same actor playing both Doctors, but that's not the case here. What we've got is, well, the Fifth Doctor and the Tenth Doctor join forces, become each other's companions, and kind of try and save the day. I mean, it's it's lovely. It's a family reunion. It's Tennant, it's Davison, it's everyone having a lovely time. There's enough Cybermen to keep you occupied. There's enough atmosphere and Parisness to really, really hit the mark. Now, I know that recently the people on the Staggering Stories podcast reviewed this and one of them did fall asleep, which I admit I find a bit weird and a bit odd because it is engaging. It's truly a very, very engaging thing. But like most multi-doctor stories, what you're actually there for is the banter. Not the overarching threat to the universe. Not the how do they actually defeat the Cybermen. Not really. We're not really here for that. We don't care about that. What we want is the Tenth Doctor and the Fifth Doctor solving things, getting to the bottom of things and sorting them out. Even the Time Agent, who is particularly good in this storyline, is arguably a bit of a MacGuffin just trying to move things along and really inform the audience of what's actually happening. Lots of attempts and what it's got to do with the actual transit of Venus, well, that is something from the Tenth Doctor's time, something that isn't truly explained but is very important to the plot. That's the sort of thing we used to get on TV all the time. A very good story. And it is so nice to have this one. We had 10th and 4. We've had 10 and 5. Obviously we'll have 10 and 6 sometime next year. I can't wait for a whole year. Hopefully he'll work his way through everyone. Because this is taking part in the 10th Doctor's grand tour. Just before he manages to regenerate. This is the year of the specials. This is the year where the waters of Mars happens. Yeah. And that was a long time ago. But the podcast was still being recorded even then. I have been doing this a tremendously long time. So, here's the trailer. And decide for yourself. Because if you're here for the banter, you're going to not be disappointed. But if you want earth-shattering Doctor Who stories that mean something to the greater narrative, well, come for the banter. It's remarkably good. So until next time... Be seeing you. We have been expecting you, Doctor. From Big Finish Productions. We have been expecting you for some time. Doctor Who, out of time, too. I'm with British intelligence. Look, here's my idea. Commander. 
Fleming? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's apparently, yep, that's that's what it says. Welcome to Paris. This is not how I remember the catacombs. I have witnessed its transformation from the subterranean quarries of my childhood to this magnificent ossuary. And who would that be? Blue box, robot dog. Uh, yes, the blue box bit is correct, but I no longer have a robot dog. Oh, shame. I love robot dogs. Unauthorized bio units located in sector three. You have to go. Something's coming. Something dangerous. Everybody, please make your way to the exit in an orderly. It's me he's after. We need to distract him, lead him away from the others, or it'll be a massacre. Are those? Cybermen. Dozens of them. What's happening? Does this house have a wine cellar? Of course. What is this about? No time to explain. Big finish. We love stories. The fact that Paris and quite possibly the Earth has been taken over by Cybermen. Oh, yeah. That World War II isn't happening. That about a billion fixed points in time have been rubbed out of existence. And that the effect of all this could destroy the entire universe. Well, we need to fix it. Obviously. That was the Tin Dog Podcast. Available on Spotify, iTunes, Acast, Stitcher and wherever good podcasts are found. Get early access to content by subscribing to the Tin Dog Podcast YouTube channel. You can support the show at patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on Twitter at Tin Dog Podcast or email tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. All of the things discussed are the intellectual property of others. No infringement is intended. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance.